Hi, I'm Mike Heidebrink, president of Chang Concrete, here for Concrete Network. This is our outdoor living series made from Chang DFRC. Let's get to work and see how these things are made. What we have here is the uh, Rumba bench cube uh, that we poured yesterday. It's been, uh, it's been curing now for about 18 hours. This is one half of the Rumba bench. The um, other half we're going to pour back into this very same mold. So I'm gonna take care in demolding this to not uh, break the mold apart because uh, once I'm done demolding it, I'm going to immediately reassemble this mold in order to cast again into it. So we're gonna start here by taking all of these Okay, I'm going to pry this off gently. I'm not prying against the concrete, I'm only prying between the wood. Okay, we've got this popped out of the mold, and I've got these knockouts here that I want to talk a little bit about. Uh, they were sized to hold the bench, okay? So we've got this bench that's going to be bridging between this cube and another cube uh, distance down. Uh, but the bench itself is actually just made out of two by four. Uh, in this case, we've got a little cedar here, and the knockout is sized to fit a standard two by four on end. The, this area here is actually sized to hold the 2x4s for the bench, basically the bench slats, uh, like so. So that's how these knockouts were sized to, uh, to accommodate the bench that is going to sit between the left and the right cube for this bench. Let's move on to, uh, to slurrying. Um, I've mixed up a little bit of the platinum acrylic slurry here. Like the consistency of this is, you can kind of see it's almost like a, a soft putty or clay. And uh, I'm gonna work it with my hands into any of these voids that I'd like to see filled. I could, you know, leave, leave these voids open for a slightly more rustic look. That's pretty much it. We'll leave this set for a day or two and then come back and start polishing. Well, we're ready to start polishing the top here, but before we do, I wanna just talk a little bit about the tools that we're using here. Um, I'm going to be using a wet dry polishing system by Alpha. Uh, for this, we're going to start off with a 500 grit and uh, polish the surface just to knock off a little of the melamine texture. And then we're going to switch it out to a 1000 grit polishing pad and then go up to a 2000 and finally finish off with a 3000 grit pad. We are going to be dry polishing this, uh, this piece using the Alpha WDP120, which is kind of my new favorite toy. Um, this is uh, it's a great polisher. But uh, one of the real benefits of it is we can use it both wet and dry. Now when you're working with a dry, with a dry polishing system like I've got here, you're going to want to make sure that uh, you have this hooked up to, a, to a, a HEPA vacuum. In this case, we've got Alpha's HEPA vac, which uh, is a, a great tool uh, to use in conjunction with the WDP120. You can find more information and instructional drawings for this Rumba bench online. I'm Mike Heidebrink with Chang Concrete. Thanks for watching.